Y'all decided from the moment you saw me if you were going to like me or not, and you're not going to change your mind. So why continue to watch me just to find a reason to not like me? So I can understand being frustrated with this. I do think that it's dangerous to have this kind of mentality of like, I've, I've decided in my mind that everyone that dislikes me dislikes me for this very particular reason and there is zero genuine criticism that can come out of this stuff right that's kind of what i'm hearing here all righty welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video today we're going to be doing a little bit of an update video we're going to be talking about Ag alexandra or more commonly known as on on youtube at least as like the the most unhealthy mom or the most unhealthy mom on tiktok or whatever so uh the last time we talked about her you know, there was a TikTok that that was really popular, which I'm sure I'll play, which was her kind of feeding her one year old um, donuts and un other unhealthy foods for breakfast and for different uh, like different meals. And um, she has gained a huge following now on TikTok based on her kind of sharing her life. Um, but it seemed that a lot of the following that she's garnered and that she's gained is almost people kind of watching, uh, you know, kind of like a dumpster fire or stuff like that, right? So it seems like a lot of the comments, if you scroll through her comments, are not the most positive there are, there's a lot of criticism um kind of levied at her again if you're unfamiliar i would highly recommend watching that first video because i'm not going to recap the whole thing here now since that original video there has been a few more tiktoks that have been uploaded so this was from two days ago and it says dinner steak uh, baked potatoes and salad with strawberries we're not going to watch the whole thing um because i just don't think that it's necessary but and there's like you know, it's just there's pretty chaotic but if we kind of go through here we have a little salad here and then we have this little tiny mini mini baked potato this chunk of steak um and then she makes this little baked potato she puts like different things on it right um and then there's also it looks like some strawberries right and so that ends up being uh the meal right there I, I think that this is definitely an improvement, and if you look at the comments, a lot of people seem to agree as well. I am curious how this two-year-old is going to eat that chunk of steak by themselves, but I don't know. Maybe they kind of break it up afterwards. I don't know, but I just think that that's kind of funny. Uh, but if you look at the comments, there there's there's a mixture here, right? So things are changing, it seems like, right? So um, this one right here, this top comment, um, this is proof that even if she makes a healthier meal, y'all will find something to complain about. The mini baked potato had me, right? Dude, good job on this one. Okay, this is an upgrade. Um, why is everyone fighting invisible comments? Um, I feel like you move in slow motion. Everything miniature is so cute. So it's clearly the comments are not overwhelmingly negative on this type of video and that was something that we talked about in the in the first video that I made was I was always saying and I still feel this way that it is very dangerous the position that she's in because while people I'm sure are excited that she's doing these healthier meals I would not be surprised if if she continued doing meals like this these quote-unquote healthier meals um, people will, will will end up losing interest, right? And then she's not going to be getting as many views. And she actually recently put out a TikTok, which I'm not going to show it on screen because it has her kid in it. Um, but I'll I'll read it for myself. Um, it says, "Enjoying spending time." It's her a, a photo with her and one of her children, so that's why I don't want to show it. But enjoying spending time with my baby and making money while doing it beyond blessed for y'all's continued support um, and the ability to work from home, right? I love y'all. So it's clear that. TikTok is the main or a main source of income. And while I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing, right? I make money on YouTube videos, clearly. But I think that it can be very, very dangerous when your content is connected to your children. And then on top of that, when that content does better when you are feeding your kids donuts versus, you know, a regular dinner. Like, I just, I cannot help but see that becoming a problem in the future. Just so interesting to me because I have this other video right here as well, which is plate lunch for my two year old, right? And so here she ends up making basically, it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on this like uh, hamburger roll that she like rolls up. And then there is some, I think there's some strawberries and some vegetables, right? And so that's what she ends up making. But you know, that's a whatever meal. Is it the most healthy thing in the world? No. Did I eat 
much unhealthier stuff growing up, especially growing up in a very low income household. Absolutely. So I, I personally don't have an issue with that. You know, I talked about that in my first video, but if you look at the comments here versus the last video, it's just, it's like night and day, right? Like there's a lot more, there's a lot more negativity here than there is on that original, that the video that we showed earlier, right? So it's just, it says, it's just said how lazy this woman is, poor baby girl. Um, and, but then here, right? Why does this girl make y'all so mad? Like, why do you care? There's strawberries, cucumber, and if, and you're lying if you said you never ate peanut butter and jelly for lunch as a kid. I mean, I can agree with that, you know? Um, and then so lazy, you even spread peanut butter and jelly together, right? Peanut butter and jelly on hamburger buns? She should give her, uh, she could give her children a platter of steamed veggies and y'all would still complain. And then, you know, people are asking, do you ever leave the house? So it's, there's clearly a divide here in the comments. And I personally, I feel like some <laughs> people are going to disagree with me and people definitely disagreed with me on the first video, but like, I think people are, in my opinion, overreacting, but I absolutely think there is something that I don't love here and which is what we talked about already the the fact that the children are the main source of the content that will always make me uncomfortable regardless of who you are what kind of content you're making if you're fat if you're skinny something she brings up is like people only dislike her because she's fat I can say for myself personally the reason I made these videos has nothing to do with that it's just the fact that you're a mother using your children significantly for the content and then on top of it the reason the content is getting popular is because of these quote-unquote unhealthy meals like i would have a problem with that regardless of your size and not even that it's like the end of the world having donuts every once in a while it's not in my opinion my issue is is that it was so it was so clear as a content creator seeing that the videos where there was donuts and unhealthy food and all this stuff those garnered so much more attention and I know how hard it is not to see that and think, oh, I'll just continue doing that. So it's like, it's one thing to feed, to have donuts every once in a while, but it's another thing for me completely when that, those donuts feed this very addicting loop of, oh my God, look how much more engagement money, right? From TikTok we're getting off of these videos versus when I'm eat when I'm feeding my kids something quote unquote healthy. That's my biggest issue. But now I want to go over this Q&A that she did. She did one earlier uh, as well that we reacted to, but this was a recent one from just yesterday. And so I figured this would be a kind of good to hear her thoughts and, you know, just share how I feel. Okay, so I just got home, but I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions kind of in my last video. So, first of all, I did get contacts recently. Um I have been sick as you can see under my nose, look, I've been sick for like a couple days, maybe even a week now. So I haven't felt like putting my contacts in. I'm not going to put my contacts in to make y'all happy if I do not feel good. Not I mean, yeah, I mean, personally, I have no issue with if you want to wear your glasses and they end up they're broken, which you talked about in the last video, whatever. It's your choice. You can do whatever you want with that. Only that I've been taking care of my kid and have been dealing with multiple things regarding my kids that I don't speak on up here because I don't talk about everything up here. Some things are just private between me and my family and my kids. I'm not going to say everything I'm going through or my kids are going through. So I now I, that's fair. And I don't think you should, but I just think it's very important. And like what I see here, the first thing that I notice is that you are opening yourself up to all of these questions, these, this criticism, like unnecessarily, like you, you understand that putting this stuff out there is going to cause people to have questions. And that's why I get so uncomfortable about people putting their kids in these types of videos because you are unintentionally, I'm sure, putting them basically in the line of fire for people on the internet. Should these people be saying these things to your kids or about your kids or asking all these questions? Maybe not, right? But the fact of the matter is the easiest way for it to cease happening is to not do that. And that is the biggest issue for me and what makes me the most uncomfortable is the fact that you are choosing to continue to do this. And so because you choose to continue to do that, you are going to be dealing with basically the consequences of that, which is if you have a lot of people watching, which I'm assuming you want that, right? Because that means more revenue. The more people that watch, the more criticism you're going to get and the more basically BS you have to deal with.
I've been sick and dealing with a lot. I haven't felt like putting my contacts in. I still have them. I still have them. Not only that, I bought a six month prescription I'm going to pick up tomorrow because they finally came in. I have contacts. I don't wear the glasses to make y'all mad. If y'all get mad over a plastic pair of glasses oh, and some- Stuff like this is always so interesting to me because it, 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 we talk about stuff like this often and it seems like some, so often people will get so focused on these little like things, like the contacts thing. I don't think that that's, compared to all the other stuff that people are talking about, this seems like such a minor little thing to spend so much time of this like, you know, five minute video, you're spending over a minute talking about this. I feel like there's just so many other things that make sense to address than contacts in your glasses. When, then that's a you problem because you need to get some help if glasses piss you off so much. I'm also so tired of people saying I don't work. Just because I don't leave the house for my job does not mean I don't work. How else do I get my kids toys, my cleaning supplies, pay my bills, get my groceries? Okay. Now, yes, I'm sure you work, right? You do you do TikTok content creation. That counts as work, right? That's what I do for work. But I think people I, I can understand where people are like, oh, you're not working because there have been multiple videos where you talk about how you guys don't have much money, which again, I understand. I'm not, I will, I would never shame anyone for not having much money. I understand. I grew up exactly, I get it. I know exactly what that's like. Trust me. But you've, you've made videos talking about going to the food bank and like you have to go to the food bank to be able to afford the things that you, because you can't afford food. And so it's like, it makes sense that people are like, you know, hey, like if you would have a quote unquote normal regular job, maybe that would help. Or especially, which I, I know she talks about later in this video, like there's three adults that live in this house. Like, every, shouldn't everyone be working? If everyone was working, this would be such such an easier position. Everyone would be in a better position, right? And so I can I can understand why people would be like, why 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 are you struggling so much when there should be three incomes here? <laughs> Etc. 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 Have my halls that I have. If I don't work, you, it is 2024. You do not have to leave your house to work. That is a common misconception. Also, I do take my kids out of the house. We don't just sit at home all day. I don't show y'all everything on camera. I would be recording my entire life if I showed you everything we do in a day. Not only do my kids have outside time and do we go places, but I also have other things I deal with with my children. Not to mention, I have a four, almost five-year-old, and a seven-year-old. They go to school. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, think about it in your head. How can my kids stay home all day, but two of my kids are school-aged? Okay, I don't really have much to say about this. It, you know, I'm sure, I, I, I just choose to believe her, okay? I'm sure you go outside. Like, I, I don't, I personally wouldn't. Like, if, if people watch my videos and they say, you never go outside, it's like, yeah, I mean, I film my videos inside. So, you know, I, I guess I can understand where she's coming from. That makes no sense. Also, yes. My boyfriend and girlfriend, oh, oh, yes, I have a boyfriend and girlfriend, yes, they love video games. You can hear my girlfriend playing it in the background right now as I film this video. That's their business. They are adults. If that is what helps them unwind, why is it any of your concern? I also enjoy video games. I don't play them as much as them, but I also enjoy things other than video games, and that's their main hobby. So why does it bother y'all that they play video games if it doesn't bother me? If I had a problem with it, I would tell them that I had a problem with it or that they played too much video games. Trust and believe I would. So again, I'm definitely not against video games. I play video games basically every single day. Um, well, it goes through phases, but right now I'm playing video games basically every single day. And I don't have a problem with that. But again, I think I would assume that these comments where people are saying like, if, if those other people in the relationship, right, your boyfriend and your girlfriend don't have a job and they're also spending all day playing video games, that I think personally is just, is probably not the best use of your time, right? Do I think that if you are don't have everything figured out, you're not allowed to have fun or, or have any outside hobbies? Of course not. But again, I can understand the criticism. And again, like I said earlier, this is like the easiest way to deal with this not like not dealing with all of these comments is to not film yourself so much <laughs> filming all your whole life, right? Sharing all of these meals and, and having your kids in your in your videos and, and sharing all these information about your life. Like these are things that people don't need to know. You are choosing to put it out there. So you are going to deal with people that are going to have comments. And um, you know, like especially as your videos grow, there's going to be more comments about that. So it's just, I don't know. It's like I can understand being frustrated, but at the same time, I can understand why people have questions. It's a it's definitely a a, a very different dynamic as far as a home compared to other you know other people's dynamics my partners do help with the kids i get a lot of comments saying they don't help with the kids they do the things they help with are not shown on camera there is more than just cooking and cleaning and feeding kids 
There is oh, changing them, changing clothes, oh, bath time, reading, homework. Like there is so much that goes into being a parent besides just feeding them and cooking and cleaning. And they do help cook and clean. And I've said that in multiple recent videos, but nobody listens to me. It doesn't matter what I say because regardless, when y'all first saw my videos, y'all first saw my face, you decided if you were gonna like me or not. It's, it's not about what I feed them anymore. It's not about what I feed them. And I've proved that multiple times because I literally have fed them steamed vegetables and gotten hate and told that it was unhealthy. Just on my lunch video today, I fed her a peanut butter sandwich, well, peanut butter sushi, like rolled up. I fed her cucumbers sliced up and I fed her strawberries. And there was quite a few comments saying, no fruits or vegetables? All you feed her is trash. She's gonna end up looking just like, why are you so lazy? You can't even add fruits and vegetables? That just proves y'all don't watch my videos. Y'all decided from the moment you saw me if you were gonna like me or not, and you're not gonna change your mind. So why continue to watch me just to find a reason to not like me? So I can understand being frustrated with this. I do think that it's dangerous to have this kind of mentality of like, I've, I've decided in my mind that everyone that dislikes me dislikes me for this very particular reason, and there is zero genuine criticism that can come out of this stuff right that's kind of what i'm hearing here i think it's un I, I can completely understand like feeling like you are being you know criticized more than you feel is necessary or that you deserve but at the end of the day like you do have to take at least a little bit of responsibility for like the fact that you are putting this stuff out there you are choosing to share what you share you are choosing to put out that donut video where you're, you're you know you're feeding your child donuts like of course of course there is going to be comments like that like there's no way in my mind that you are surprised that people were like what the heck is going on here when you release that right and so i can understand being like frustrated with maybe some of the comments but to to take no responsibility i think is a bad look just don't watch me you don't have to like me we don't have to like each other no one is always going to see eye to eye that's fine you don't agree that I'm in a throuple? Great, don't watch me. You don't agree that I sometimes feed my kids chicken nuggets and donuts like twice that I always hear about still months later? Don't watch me. The block button is free, y'all. It is free and it's also free to mind your business. Learn how to do it. It is free to mind your business. It is free to actually ask questions instead of just assuming shit. Just because one person on TikTok says something does not mean it's the gospel and all be all the truth. So again, this is this is kind of the the issue with the internet. I think that people, it's like yes, all of that stuff is true, and I I agree. I think that sometimes people get way too too invested and they spend too much time w like thinking about someone that they dislike. Okay, fair enough. But I think especially with how the way that TikTok is, with how the algorithm works, like if you're just scrolling through, uh, you, we've all been on TikTok, right? You're just scrolling and you see this and you've never watched any other videos of course like and people leave comments about that like they don't know all of the lore they don't know everything that's going on before and so it's like i think a lot of times people they they feel like oh you're saying all this stuff i've heard this all before but it's like yeah you've heard it all before because not everyone that's commenting knows everything that has gone on in the past so you have to understand that like these are comments that you're literally probably always going to get if you continue making the content that you make because not everyone that sees you on their for your page has seen you before and has watched all of the videos about you and and knows all of the lore like it's it's just not it you can't expect that especially on TikTok when you know the video is a minute long maybe even shorter and that's all people see and they just leave a comment and they move on again this is what i've talked about before with like content creators because you know TikTok for her probably is this huge thing in her life that uh, spent she spends a lot of time making these TikToks, editing them right posting them replying to comments like for her this is all consuming probably right and it helps pay her bills and all that stuff which is great but for the people commenting it might be a minute boop and they move on with their day not thinking much about it but it's hard not to realize that when it it consumes you so much and i'm not saying that as a negative like youtube and all this stuff consumes my life and i have to remember that these people that watch my videos some of you guys like you might watch a video every few weeks and you're not thinking about what, what's obese to beast doing and you probably don't even know my freaking name right and that's fine my name's john um but like that's just how it is and you, it's it's really hard not to separate yourself from that when it becomes this huge thing for you because a lot of times the people that are watching it's not that big of a deal you might have you know fans or supporters that watch everything and they comment on everything but that's not going to be the majority of the people that are watching your content because no one knows my truth but me nobody can speak for me only me but that being said i know i promised y'all a live 
so that's basically the end of the video um she kind of just goes on and talks about like a live that she was supposed to do but i thought that this was really interesting and the the reason i wanted to share this update is because you know there have been more people talking about this and I don't know. Like I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I don't. I think a lot of people kind of disagreed with me in the first video, and I think there were some things that I missed, and maybe I didn't get my, you know, my feelings across perfectly. But I, I don't think that she's like this terrible person. But I definitely think that there is some, like I don't love the fact that of how how she gained popularity and the and the ways that just like I, I just will always have an issue with your kids being the main reason your content's doing well that always just makes me uncomfortable but i'm genuinely curious what y'all think down in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate y'all very much and i'll see you next time peace